Hello dummies. I thought I'd make a quick video for you about uh, engineers, actually. I keep banging on about how useful they are, uh, which is certainly true. But one of the biggest problems has always been getting the commodities. And this is something I've kind of found a bit more about out recently through experimentation. Doesn't seem to be much on Google about it. And that's uh, material traders. So material traders, depending on what you want, will sell different things in different systems. So this one, for example, Sagan Port in Cerny is uh, an industrial system. And as such, they will sell micro materials, uh, which are manufactured. So I will just quickly dock and uh, show you what I mean. Access granted. Make your way to landing pad number three zero. When you go into the station, it's also not obvious either. Um, as with everything, it's in the station menu, um, but you just need to go into contacts. And then from there, you'll be able to access whichever trader it is, depending on the system. To find traders, they've made it super easy now as well. So you can go into Galaxy Map, and uh, when you're plotting your various routes, you can see you can filter, as always, on sort of star class, things like that. Um, but now under services, you've got different traders. So here we've got material trader for manufactured, encoded, tech brokers, and raw materials. So very, very, very useful stuff. In terms of actually using the trader, it's super easy, and it makes it worthwhile collecting all manners of junk. I've obviously broken some sort of rule here then in the past. <laughs> anyway, material trader. And from oops, from here you can scroll through all the different micro materials that you might want for engineers. So for example Mechanical components uh, used in, I think, level three and um, dirty drive and clean drive tuning. So they're quite useful. And if you want more of those, all you need to do is uh, click on it, and then you can go through all these different options, and it will tell you how many micro materials will be given in exchange. So if you want mechanical components and I want to trade some conductive polymers for them you can see there that if I offer two conductive components I'll get one mechanical component back in exchange and there it is in the inventory and it's that simple and you can do this for every micro material for any engineer for any blueprint that you might want so it's super super easy and then you can have ships that don't suck basically and it does make a big big difference so just to highlight it with the python for example which we've all had at some point and I know Joe still flies in one even on the 6A thrusters the at best you can you can get 346 meters per second on boost and all I've put on this so far is just the level 3 dirty drive tuning which is super easy to get you get it from Felicity Farcia and now it's 340 just flying normally and 450 on boost so it makes a big big difference you can see the modification there and drag drives as well and this is the same for everything. So it makes it a lot easier 
which is definitely in line with all of the other updates of the game where the stupid difficulty curve seems to have been taken out of it a little bit um, so that yeah, hope you find that helpful bye